on mole animations. Discharge tube. It is a tube which is used to study the electrical conduction through gases at low pressure. In this frame, the experimental setup to study the discharge phenomena is shown. It consists of a glass tube which is 50 cm long and its diameter is 5 cm. Two electrodes, A called anode and C called cathode, are connected to the secondary coil. The discharge tube is connected with the pressure gauge whose function is to measure the pressure inside the tube and a vacuum pump whose function is to reduce the pressure inside the tube. At atmospheric pressure, there is no discharge through the gases because at this pressure, gas molecules are not ionized and do not pass electricity. At 10 mmHg pressure, in this pressure, luminous streaks called blue streamers are appeared between the electrodes and cracking sound is heard. At 5 mmHg pressure, when the pressure is reduced to 5 mmHg, the blue streamers broaden out with colorful column called Jessler discharge and buzzing sound is heard. For air, the color is red. For hydrogen, the color is blue. For helium, the color is pink. For chlorine, the color is green. At 2 mmHg pressure, in this pressure, luminous column called positive column appear between anode and cathode. At 1 mmHg pressure, in this pressure, the positive column appears only near the anode. At the same time, blue luminous glow appears at the cathode called negative glow. A dark space appears between positive column and negative glow called Faraday's dark space. At 0.5 mmHg pressure, at this pressure, negative glow leaves the cathode and moves towards the anode. And another glow appears on the cathode called cathode glow. The space between cathode glow and negative glow is called Crookes dark space. At 0.05 mmHg pressure, at this pressure, positive column becomes shortened and breaks into alternative bright and dark discs called struates. At 0.01 mmHg pressure, at this pressure, all the straights, negative glow, Faraday's dark space disappeared and the entire tube is filled with group dark space. At this stage, a stream of invincible particles are emitted from the cathode and moves towards the anode. The stream of invincible particles are called cathode rays. At 0.0004 mmHg pressure, at this pressure and below, no discharge passes through a tube because there are very few particles available for conduction.